you can have like a podcast. What's your name? Sabrina. What's your name? Paul. And this is... I'm her dad. I mean, she's my dad. <laughs> This is my dad, Paul. We decided to make this podcast or video to podcast a while ago, and I made like a trailer for it. I made like a TikTok for it. And, and she said, and she said, um, watch this space. It's coming soon. The podcast is like two months ago. <laughs> Maybe three. <laughs> three months ago. I just couldn't. It's hard. It's relative. I'm very picky about like how I wanted to do it, and it was just not working. But so why am I on it? Because you're the main character. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the basis of this podcast is we thought it would be a good, a cool way to look at like just ways of thinking from different perspectives. From my perspective, who's like a younger person. He's really interested in mindfulness and just living a young life and then from a dad. We're in her room, by the way, apparently because it's got the best lighting. It does. So we're sitting on her bed. Yeah. Anyway, so... Hmm. We usually drive around in the car together, if we're together, and we drive around and we talk about all this, these very interesting things, or we think they're interesting. Mm. So, we thought, man, we should do a podcast on this, because it's the subjects we talk about are pretty interesting. Mm. And then, so well, for probably a year, we've been talking about doing a podcast. Not that I really want to do a podcast, but... What was one of the subjects? It's interesting conversation. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's play. No, no, no. Let's do a 20 question thing. You have to answer questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Dad! Sorry! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Question. So. One, Sabrina. Mm -hmm. My question. Have you got a boyfriend? No. 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 Sorry, everyone. No, I don't. Literally, I told... Sorry. No, no, no. I told Gaga. Yeah. I'm Gaga my is, her, is her grandfather. I Why told him it? that I was going to... When he dies, I'm going to... If I don't have a boyfriend, I'm just going to bring a random guy and say this is my boyfriend. And he'll be happy. On oh, the deathbed, you mean? Yeah. Because he's so sad for me that I don't have a boyfriend. You too picky? Yeah, I'm, I'm too picky, and I'm also just a bit, I think I'm just, I don't have much drive to just go out and do it. I also have a very big ego. That's one subject. Ego. I have such a big ego, and my... And the ego stops you? Yeah, my ego stops me, because it makes, because any, like, moment of, like, von, like vulnerability... But you think you could be vulnerable. Yeah, I'm like, ooh, no, I don't want to do that. That's, that shows how weak I am. <laughs> well, that shows what, weakness. What, meaning he, he, you think he might not, he might think you're not good enough or something? Well, I mean, not so much that, but I, there's, a, there's a possibility of finding faults. Do you know what I mean? So he, if, if you think he's going to find too many faults, then you just won't even proceed with it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm. But, and I know that's like, and it's funny because everyone's always like, we just, you just have to do it. You just have to try. And like, I'm like, yeah, I know. But like, also, I also like have this thing where like, I always talk to my sister Zoe that you will probably meet in one episode, but we always talk about how she's always like, Brie, go out and do it. Like go out and just try everything with 
people and just go on dates, blah, blah, blah. Not everything. But, no, no. We go on dates and just like be free. But then as soon as I do, I do something or like something happens, it doesn't, nothing happens. Literally something is always in the way, nothing happens. Or it just goes wrong. So I don't know, I literally think there's something in the universe that's like, no. But hang on, didn't, didn't she set you up on an online dating thing? No, I have that, but it's, it's just funny. You just ignore it? Yeah, I don't, I don't, well it's just, this sounds really bad, but like, it's a hinge. It's cringe? No, hinge for the people listening oh, and watching. Oh, oh. It hinges like the, um, the, app. the dating app. And me and my friend, oh, Cheska. Yeah. Me and my friend Francesca, we downloaded it over summer. Well, I had already had it because Zoe had made it for me, but um, Cheska remade hers. So, so, we, so you got on it and you see a bunch of boys. Yep. And then. You read a little bit about them. Mm -hmm. And you go, no, 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 no. No, I was pressing yay some. I put first yeah. And then I got like maybe 12 messages and there was one of the, one of the messages was actually so funny. It was like this guy. <laughs> no, it's actually funny. It's actually funny. So he, um, he was like, oh, um, I hear you've got a really good like job opportunity because in one of my thing in one of my quotes something I put in I put something about a job or looking for a job or currently unemployed or something like that. So we wrote something about a job and then I was like, and then I replied really confused. I was like, uh, I haven't heard of any jobs lately. I'm kind of confused. And then he was like, oh, sorry, that was wrong impression. Sorry. And then I was like. And didn't answer and then he comes back to me in like an email form hi sabrina hope you're well um just regarding this job application like he was writing like an email job application and then i was like well, this is so funny so i wrote i forgot his name whoops but i was like writing hi um hope you're well um Thank you so much for applying for this job blah, blah, blah. and then we were writing literal job applications back it was really funny you said to be there yeah <laughs> That's not so what they to that? nothing he's still he's still applying for the job <laughs> to go out with you hey <laughs> eh? is that what it was about i think so well obviously it's a dating app and what was the job application? He was telling me what's good about him, why he, he should get the job? Yeah. To go out with you? It was. I, to go it's out with funny. me. No, it is funny. It is funny. That's what I mean. It's good sense of humour. Yeah. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> <Huh>? Like and comment. <laughs> comment what I should do with this email man. <laughs> no, don't. Just whatever. <laughs> Tragic. Yeah, anyway, back to my ego story. I think the... Is that your ego? Not getting no. back to him? No, my ego... No, that's just me being lazy. Or he hasn't got back to you. No, I literally can show it. He's... I, there's all these people that have messaged me. And you don't get back to them. And I just don't reply because I'm just like, um... Oh. I just don't... So you're not really, you're not really, you're not really jumping around trying to find a boyfriend. No, I'm not. No, you never been like that. No, I, yeah. I'm definitely not a relationship girly. Like if it came into my life, I'd be like, oh, okay, but I'm not like, a, I'm not obsessed with the idea of it. But if it comes into your life, then it gets. Then I'll be like, oh, okay. Then it gets stolen. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a thing about giving away things. Jobs. I have given away Boys. my job a couple of times to my friends because I was just being nice and then I realized, oh, I just stitched myself up. And then I gave away the guy that I liked 
because I was like, oh, well, he's really nice, so I think he'd be really nice to you. <laughs> so I kind of gave, I give things away. But that's, I think that's it, that comes from just being really, like, not, I think what it, what we were talking about before in the way that like I don't like being vulnerable and that's a lot of work for me to not be vulnerable. Like it's it, a lot of work to not be vulnerable. It takes a lot out of me to to not do it. No, it takes a lot of work out of me to just chill out. And what would not take a lot of work? To just ignore it. <laughs> I understand. Like to be vulnerable, right? So if, like, for example, for example, I like a guy, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, this this whole situation here needs me to be open, vulnerable, and give attention to this person that I don't know. Okay. So everything, I just have to drop everything, my ego my insecurities, everything, and just be open. Mm -hmm. But that takes a lot of work. So when it comes to a job that sometimes I may be insecure about, or a person... Why does that take a lot of work? I don't know. Because I overthink. I'm an overthinker. You overthink it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I overthink everything. Oh, I didn't realize that. Really? No. Really? Don't you have to be able to think to overthink? Yes. <laughs> no, I did not realize that. Yeah. I, I thought you were not, I didn't think you overthought everything. I overthink certain things, but it, n there are some things that I'm just like, oh, whatever. That's sort of what I thought. Mm. Big brain. Big brain. Big brain. Big brain energy. Big brain energy. <laughs> Shush, Shush Oli. Big brain energy. That should be the podcast name. Big brain energy. No, that's so I. <laughs> um. Oh my he needs to stop. That's a dog under the bed. <laughs> Scraping the cat. It's not a cat. I think this dog thinks he's a cat. Like, for real. Um, alright, so... But what were... No, 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 but... What were you like when you were young? Because I feel like you would have been like me. I think most people don't want to be vulnerable. Mm. And people people have a... You know, how they have a... a I don't know, just, that's sort of a recent thing to me, but a six will go for a five or a six. Mm. You don't want to go above your... Oh yeah, yeah, you don't want to go above your like, like you don't want to go much, for like much above your weight. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see. I don't think that. I don't. I for me, it's not about like what they like look like. Now that was interesting. You did say to me one day. You said no, most guys are. I said, what's your type of guy? And you said. It's sort of all, all guys, most guys are actually relatively good looking mm. in their own way. Mm. They look different, so they're all relative. Most guys are usually they're relatively, oh, to me, they're fine. Mm. So I was surprised at that. I thought, um, because coming from a girl to guys, mm. I think most girls think that actually. Do they? Yeah. And most... So, what? So, just the guys, what demeanor and personality? Yeah, it's just the way that a guy holds himself. I, yeah, I definitely have like a certain like what look of a person that I'm drawn to. Like everyone has that certain thing what that they're that? like just taller than me. <laughs> Can't be shorter than me. Oh, okay. Just not I think that's my thing is like, like surfer type. I don't really I don't I don't specify No, I don't really. Just someone 
No. He's someone who's relatively confident in himself and yeah, total of him. his cool style. And has he now getting somewhere? Now getting some whole other thing. Yeah, cool style. Girls don't have to have a cool style. They do. They do. For they me, they just wear they do. shorts and t-shirt. No. Well, yeah, in the summertime. But there's like a, for me, fashion is important. Oh, um, well, you're a fashion guru. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a fashion guru. <laughs> No, but fashion is important to me because it's a way that it's a way that I actually show express yourself, express a part of myself. So if a guy is has got stylish clothes on mm. and is taller than you, mm. then it's whatever. Then yeah, it, then it gets your attention. Yes, exactly. But that that's that. Yeah. Just get your attention. Yeah. It's like anything. It's yeah. like when I used to be, when I was in America, and then you know you had an accent, like mm -hmm. a general accent in America. Mm -hmm. So when I was you know over there the first, I was single. So it would get you talking to them because it, it was a point of interest. Mm. But that's as far as it goes. Mm. Yeah, I mean that's the same like. I, well, yeah, that's so true. I think it just the confidence that somebody has, and it makes you feel like it's almost like it makes you feel confident when they're, they're confident. Because you're not having mm -hmm. to, like. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, come, you're almost coming to their level. Yeah. So if someone's sort of meek and a little bit thing, like, oh, 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 like that's probably annoying. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's funny that it's it's funny how the girls and guys, the attractiveness to the to the person like, and that's from print, that's from nature. Mm. So a girl wants to be uh, feel safe mm -hmm. and uh, taken care of in a mm -hmm. very broad sense. Mm. So she wants someone who's maybe big, mm. like because it's a big guy. The, just the presence feels like to her mm. he's, he's going to protect her mm -hmm. and um, if he's got a good cave mm. <laughs> it's a good that's like she can bring his kids up she's she, oh, okay I can bring my kids into this mm. I can feel safe in this cave what cave? house oh talking, it's, kind of, yeah, it's primitive stuff right yes yes yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, so I think that's really the mm. most basic of it and it's still doesn't matter how many how hundreds of years thousands of years humans get they'll still have that mm. thing and the, and the and the guys don't care how much money the girl makes mm. like not one iota yeah do they care they actually would go for the one that's like a little damsel in distress you know yeah. i've got no car i'm so uh you know <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what the that's a, that's the guy's thing. He's like, I can, I can look after you. Come here, I can look after you. You know what's interesting? I found recently because you know I tend to like um, try and help everyone. Mm -hmm. Like this is like the what I what we were talking about before when you were saying that I give things away. I have like this toxic trait of like. <laughs> No! <laughs> Molly, what were we talking about when you walked in? Huh? What were we talking about when you walked in? I don't know. So. Oh, I was saying about. I don't have close this one, so that the guys don't care about how much a woman makes. Their status does not make any difference. Yeah, that's true for some people. I think for most guys. For some, yeah, a couple, a couple of people I know, they do, they prefer a girl that makes good money. Really? Yeah. That they don't want it to be a drain on the air. Yeah, they don't, they, they want to be the caregiver as long as the girl is doing as much hard work. Gotcha, okay. Which is fair enough, because I feel like in our generation, that's kind of how it is. Like, 
Yeah, yeah maybe because it's so expensive. Yeah, and, and you, both have pretty much people have to work. Yeah, and there's the whole equality thing now, which is a bigger thing. So everyone wants equality, and with girls like getting to kind of not getting to be at home with the kids because that's a really big job, but like not going out to work every day, like the guys would back then now people are like oh no we're both the same so we both should have to do the same amount of work to get what we want is that is that what people girls normally think now yeah like this there was this whole question in like an interview or something and the girl was like oh would you ever um bring your wallet on a date to the girl Mm. Yeah. And the girl was like, no, never. I would never bring a wall on a date. That's just stupid. The guy should pay. But then the other girl was like, yeah, I'd bring my wall on a date. Because I'd just pay for my meal. Because then I'm not in debt to this person. Into it, yeah. I can just go out, have a nice meal. And if they, don't want, if they didn't like the date or if they just weren't interested, I can just pay and leave. Then there's no like thing of being like, oh well, he paid for my dinner and now I owe him something mm -hmm. or there's no like way yeah. that he can yeah. be like, I paid for your dinner kind of thing. But if you, okay, so if you went out if you went out with a guy for the first date, you would assume that he's gonna pay for it, right? I'd assume but I'd still bring my wallet. Yeah, that's fine. Well I think that's right though. Mm. And I still would still think that's right. It's just, it's really just a, I don't even know what it is, respect or just like, no, I'll get this. Mm. Yeah. It's the way it is. Yeah. And I think the girl, if the guy, what, what's the guy going to say? Let's go Dutch. You pay for it. The girl's going to be like, okay, but I'm not going out with you yet. Yeah. yeah, well, exactly. It's, it's like a... It's like it's a tradition. A it's a tradition, yeah. It's more of like a tradition where you're kind of like, not, you're trying to see if the guy has like any gentleman qualities because the, that whole like thing of paying for the girl's meal is like a gentleman chivalry. thing. Yeah, chivalry. So if the guy like has is conscious of that and he's like, no, I'll pay for it. Or he opens your car door, something like that. That's like showing that he's paying attention to what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He's making sure he's... He's putting some effort into it. Yeah. He's putting some effort into... Like you, basically. Mm. And he wants to impress you. Yeah. And then the girl, she just dresses nice and... Mm -hmm. tries yeah, so she's going to get all dolled up to yeah. impress him. Yeah. And then he's... Go and put his boy clothes on. Yeah. And then, whatever they are. Yeah. And you know, obviously the girl's going to be like, oh yeah, you look nice. Mm. But he's not like, you know, he's going to go and bought a whole new outfit for it. Mm. He's just going to put something on his guy's closet <laughs> that looks nice. <laughs> Have you seen the thing where so his, like... his attention somewhere else. Like he wants to, he'll open the car door, get you out, open yeah. the door, go walk in. Hopefully, you know, we'll pull your seat out. Yeah. Maybe not to that extent, but you know, do all that stuff. Yeah. And that would make the, you feel nice, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just it's the, the natural inclination of... A date. Yeah, I think it's just the natural, yeah, of a date. Mm. Well, yeah. So, I don't know. It's weird, like, in this, in our generation, because it's so mixed, like, it's such a mixed, um, like, back in the, Back like, in the old days. <laughs> back in the old I'm days. I wasn't going to say that. Like back in like maybe latest like seventies. Yeah, seventies. Yeah. That was a no-brainer. What? The man opens the door. Like the yeah. man pays for the food. The yeah. man goes out to work. Like that was just how it was. Mm -hmm. And that's fine because that's just how the society was. But now, but there's equality and there's you know, everyone wants to be successful in their own way and everyone wants to show that they're as powerful as the other person, which is so fair enough because everyone's good enough to do anything. But 
that does kind of make it a bit confusing when it gets to those more traditional like yeah. chivalry things because you're like well what if this person like thinks that i should pay for it so i i was, the and the, if you i didn't really know so i was looking at watching this thing it was the basically in finland or scandinavia can't run scandinavian countries and they and they basically were saying that they the woman almost expect to pay mm. for the first day like they almost don't expect the guy is going to take by it all. They just expect that she's going to pay for half of it. Really? Which I thought that was interesting. It must be a Western culture thing. Yeah, it's probably more, much more of a culture thing. All the cultures would be different. Yeah. So definitely culture though. That's quite interesting actually. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's too... It's too... The, the whole... Dating does not scare me. Nothing like that scares me. It doesn't scare you? No, it doesn't at all. That's weird. I just don't, I just don't do it. I just don't have, like, the drive. Like, if I was asked out on a date, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Bullshit. No, I've done People that before. People have never asked you on a date? No, never. Why did they never ask you on a date? I don't know. You scared of you or something? No, I, I mean, literally you're, sort of, you're pretty. I, I literally was talking to like all my friends about this. Well, yeah, okay, apparently, 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 model pretty is different to pretty, according model, to. Model pretty is weird pretty? Not weird, but my guy friends have told me, you know who you are, have told me that model pretty is an interesting look. And it's almost like a look that's a little bit untouchable. You're too good looking? It's almost like you're either too good looking or you're too interesting looking that it's almost too hard for them to picture them to be with you. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, so they're like, she's That's pretty, like a guy but... and it's a really good looking girl mm. and like an average to sort of guy and he's like, oh no, she's, she's too pretty. Yeah, or she's too like... She's too good looking. I won't even go up and talk to her. Yeah, she's too, she's a little bit too interesting. Like, I just can't, I can't, in my mind, I can't picture myself standing next to her. Mm, maybe, yeah. Which, I guess it is, they just told you. Mm. Huh. And, and they're so well, they going to go to the normal, regular girl that is normal to them. Yeah, normally. Oh, Mina. <laughs> That's fine. That's it. It's sad, but it's also kind of a compliment. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, okay. It means like I can have like Jesus, I don't know. I can what? I can have Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to all the Christians out there. I'm joking. Um, but yeah. Oh, well, you know what? All the, all the Zeus are like, yo! <laughs> you! Go Zeus! <laughs> we all lined up out the door. Uh, do you know Sabrina? It's Zeus Valdez, it's Zeus Diego, it's <laughs> Diaz. Do you know the name Sabrina is Latin? Latina? Derives from Latina? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Because when I was in. I never met anyone called Sabrina. Ever. Like in New Zealand. Or even in America. Oh, no, really? actually. Um, that's fine. New Zealand, never really met any Sabrinas. But when I went to America and I did Miami Fashion Week, I'm not joking. I was in a show and we were lining up and there was five Sabrinas. No. Five in the same show. That's weird. It was so weird. I was like, it's crazy. I was even talking to one of them. I was like, I've never in my life experienced this. And she was like, Yeah, there's a lot of Sabrinas in like the Latin culture. Oh, the la Oh, okay, because that was in, like, in Miami. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh. Uh. But yeah, that was kind of. It was a bit triggering actually. I was like, Oh, I'm really Why not that was it special. Triggering? <laughs> I thought I thought us Ah, uh, you poor so. souls. Yeah. So Tr triggering is a word that um is due to me. Triggered. Triggered. You, you triggered. say it sometimes now. Now I say it. Triggered. You also say slay. I, yeah, so I say slay. <laughs> slay. Slay. All my some of my friends. Do you say gunny? No. That's gunny, man. Gunny. That is gunny ass. 
Gunny ass, That's bro. Gunny. That's gunny it's ass. It's choice. Choice. Oh yeah, choice is like a choice. Choice, choice, bro. But Slade. It's gunny ass. Slade derives from like TikTok. Does it? Well, not. It probably that like, comes from something else, but. Like it got really, really popular, like more worldly when TikTok became a thing. Because once TikTok grabs it, it like expands it into like millions of different ways to like say something. So like it just makes, it gives the word, it's almost like you, TikTok gives that word to everyone in the world that sees it. And oh. then everyone in the world makes their own interpretation of it. And mm. then everyone has like and then the word becomes so much more than just the word slay it becomes like a meaning of something so that's why everyone's like slay when they think it's like so cool they're like oh my god you're saying other cultures have made a different meaning no other people made a different meaning for it well there's like different ways to say it santa rise on it slay <laughs> santa slay santa slay <laughs> Santa will always be slack. Uh, yeah. So essentially what this podcast turned, we, it, turned into turned into is just just to come the whole concept of this is just to have like a conversation between a dad and daughter. So I, I don't ever see that anywhere. And I think it would be an interesting kind of way to look at things. You always hear mother and daughter things. Like, my mom is this and, you know, my dad, my dad, like, helps me out there or he gives me a pat on the back or, but, like, that's so different. Get a girl, our family. Get a girl. Yeah, in our family, like, we, I've got two other sisters. So, and then mom. So you're around only girls. So he's learned. True that. The feminine way. True that. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> uh, uh, there's a bunch of other stuff, but I think probably going long enough. Yeah. I think... Yeah. We'll upload it again tomorrow. Sure. We'll upload again tomorrow. And... I don't think I'm gonna until we figure out exactly what the what the structure of this podcast is gonna be. I'm not gonna say exactly what I'm gonna what we're gonna be talking about, but just watch for the next one and yeah, Phew. peace out. Bye.